The starry messenger comes from Galileo, where he first perfects the telescope. After only just having heard that a telescope was invented in the Netherlands, he said, oh my gosh, that's good. let me make my own version of it. He makes the best version that exists in the world, observes the night sky, notices that Venus goes through phases, which can only happen if Venus is going around the sun and not around Earth. He notices that the sun has spots, the moon has craters, the Jupiter has moons that orbit it, and he reports this with the first evidence that Earth is not the center of all motion. And he called it Sidereus Nuncius, Starry Messenger. The Starry Messenger wasn't him. The Starry Messenger was these messages themselves from the sky that are conflicting with prevailing belief systems about humans and about Earth. And he got into big trouble with the church. So what I, as an astrophysicist, I found all the starry messages I could and applied them to our plight here on Earth. And that's the summary of what's going on in that book.